Welcome to the 21 New South Wales Slalom Championship video where we look at the results for New South Wales Championships and also the GPS series where we had a pretty good turnout at Mile Lakes and a big shout out to our volunteers who helped organise the event. Winners on screen now will present it in order of appearance and first up is Remy. From France, number 73, sailing with power. He definitely deserved the title. Uh, he struggled on the first day, especially the first couple of races, which were held in some relatively light winds, above 12 knots on average, but uh, there were certainly some lulls down to about 8 knots or less, uh, where the foils definitely had an advantage. Uh, but when a gust came through, he certainly used his speed to his advantage and tried to catch up as much distance as he could. But of course, in light winds and the brackish, half fresh, half salt water, the slalom boards did tend to sink a bit more. And in a lull, you know, he kind of struggled a little bit in the first couple of races, but then came back to win um, and dominate in his usual style. Um, I did some pretty good starts on the first day, and I think most of us struggled with uh, timing for that perfect start on the second day. Remy definitely enjoyed this Saturday more than Friday. We were all riding 7.7 .7 sails and our medium slalom boards uh, with fins. And, you know, Remy dominated that day, winning four out of the four races with some, uh, some good starts and some even better finishes. Um, definitely rounding the marks very well and coming across the line first. Well done, Remy. Uh, second up and first with fin and foil was Byron. 747 enjoying his new Duotone 7.8 sail for the whole weekend, riding a slalom sail on his foil and a 650 starboard front wing. He got uh, some pretty good starts on on the Friday on his foil, um, maybe not as good as he's used to uh, or that he wanted, but um, you know, certainly better than a lot of the fleet and turned that around to some pretty convincing um, wins in second and third places uh, at the finish line. Uh, Byron really enjoyed the close competition, you know, winning a race on the first day and then uh, closely being chased or following Muzz and myself and Remy and then chasing Remy most days on the second day um, for uh, three out of four seconds. Definitely enjoying the competition and uh, also enjoying the diversity of winners where we had four different winners in the, in the series um, out of the five races held on day one. He was pretty lucky to rig just one sail and ride both fin and foil with the same rig, so making the most of a small equipment choice there. Well done for winning fin and foil Byron. Next up, yours truly, Barone, sail one, two, three getting second in fin and foil and third overall. Most of the time I was riding a 560 front wing from F4 and the Iris 8 meter racing foil sail, uh, dedicated sail gave me a little bit of confidence on day one and I was chasing both Muzz down to the line for a third, uh, just beating him and taking second. And then I was chasing Byron very closely to the line and crossing about half a metre in front of him uh, for the last win on day one. So very excited with my first win at a windsurfing event. But the worst thing for me was probably being two minutes late to the first slalom race on day two. Next up, Murray Muzz on uh, sale 7.20. Fin and foil division. Uh, he did nail most starts. He was probably closest to the pin end uh, each of the start days and did pretty well from down there. Also got some good video footage from on board his GoPro camera on day one. Muzz enjoyed uh, winning the first race, I think, uh, quite well. And just in front of Byron by f uh, five or ten meters, you know, beating him over the line, as we can see here. Um, beating him to the first jibe and then maintaining that lead the whole race along. Uh, doing quite well on his big, um, I think it was a Phantom Free Ride uh, foil that he borrowed off his brother. So 
not even his own gear. Um, also riding, I think it was 7-8 sail for the whole weekend. Muzz commented that he actually enjoyed the foiling jibes during the race because um, it made it impossible to think too much. You're in the heat of the moment, you have to deliver, and he enjoyed some of the jibes um, and consistently getting around the marks. So overall, some very impressive sailing from Muzz, and um, thanks for helping organise along with Byron and the rest of the volunteers. Um, in fifth place overall was Nick on his distinctive yellow and black AC sails. He enjoyed uh, some good results, getting as high as uh, second place on the slalom in Finn on uh, day two, and a fourth in the first race on day one. Uh, Nick enjoyed some really good starts, especially on day two, as we just saw there. I think that was race two on the second day, where he was right behind Remy the whole race and came over the line second, uh, getting his highest place. Not one to believe the laws of aerodynamic, Nick was racing with the most impressive beard of the fleet, and that didn't hamper his performance. Clearly getting second and, um, and thirds, doing him well. Fourth overall for Finn and Foyle, and fifth for the Slalom Championships. Certainly a good result. This shot here really capturing probably Nick's highlight for the whole event, you know, beating Remy across the start line at speed and then coming home second. Certainly a good result. Well done to Nick. Next in sixth place overall and second for the Finn only division was Oz4, Rick Murray, previous state champion as well. Uh, he did Ride a fin only, as I said, 7-8 sail most of the time, although I think he started with an 8-4 on the first day uh, in the lighter winds, uh, struggling to get the board planing in the lulls, as everybody else was on the fins, um, but definitely made the most of the uh, stronger winds on the second day and had some impressive speed. I remember once um, getting around the jibe in front of him, but then you know, Rick sped past me on the reach, Overtook me, jibed in front of me, but um, on the foil I managed to jibe around him and maintain some better speed. And then he overtook me on the next reach. So, Next up, the legend, Tibor, sailing foil only, Oz 1, and winning it for foil only. He nailed so many of the starts. He was very impressive on the line. Um, Maybe not with the top speed going over the line, but he was definitely most consistently at the mark at the right time, using his lifetime experience to help him judge the distance and speed needed. So I think Tibor was riding his 900 centimeter squared foil most of the time to give him some good lift and uh, easy starts. Next up was Russell sailing under a big red R on his uh, overdrives there. Uh, Russell came eighth overall and third in the Finn only division, which was his personal highlight. Um, definitely struggled to get planing in some of the lighter winds on day one, but he enjoyed the stronger conditions on day two. Although he did comment that his three cam overdrive was a little bit uh, twitchy in the stronger winds and he was Next up was Dave riding under Oz26. He came ninth overall and second for the foil only team. Here we see him crossing the line on his free ride Neil Pride sail and converted formula board closely behind Tibor and, and Remy for um, one of the races. But his worst moment was probably catapulting two minutes before the finish line on Friday. Just a shame we didn't catch that on camera. James was sailing under Oz 173. He came 10th overall and 5th in the Finn and Foil team. James was riding some TR8 Maui sails slalom gear and uh, some free foil equipment. Next up was Bruce, 11th overall and 6th on the Finn and Foil, sailing under Oz 9. Bruce also told me his uh, worst moment was crashing a few metres before the finish line in one race and a few metres before the start in one of the other races. Next up was Dez, 
Oz 011, 12th overall, first for the women's fleet and fourth sailor on a fin. You know, her worst moments were, you know, struggling in the light winds to get to the start on time. But um, on the second day, sailing out to the first race, she catapulted, landed on the sail hard and snapped one of the battens. And that was definitely her worst moment, taking her out of the whole second day. So a bit of a shame to lose out in such a way. Barry came 13th, riding in the foil only team, coming third in the class. Barry made the most of his gear, sail works and uh, starboard foiling away over the tea coloured tepid waters from my lakes full of tea tree oil and eucalyptus oil. Last of the competitors was Mick sailing under Oz 149. Seen here sailing his easy foiling sail with the very slender leech and rather large foot of the sail with a long uh, batten under the boom, making the most of this unusual piece of equipment. Mick was 14th overall and 4th in the foil only team. So a big thanks to the race organisers and also the volunteers who donated their time and boats in some cases to the event and made everything safe and enjoyable for all the participants. And uh, from all of us that competed in the New South Wales slalom titles, we definitely hope to see you up at Mile Lakes in December for the next event, 2nd to 5th, so book your cabins now.